Hello folks, this is the U59 Pro Mini PC from Beelink. Now it doesn't say Pro on the box, but you can tell it's the Pro because it comes with the N5105 Intel processor and the standard U59 only comes with an N095 processor. So that's the main difference. It also comes with 16 gigabytes of RAM and a 500 gigabyte solid state drive. Sadly, it only comes with Wi-Fi 5. I would have liked to see Wi-Fi 6, but I'll be using the LAN port anyway. And as a mini PC, of course, it has this smaller form factor. We're looking at just under five inches in width, about four and a half inches there, and just under about one and a half inches in height. So yeah, very, very small. On the front of the device, you have two USB 3 ports, a USB-C port and a headphone jack along with the power button. You also have a BIOS reset, which is really helpful because the BIOS is fully unlocked with this machine, which means if you manage to mess anything up, you can reset everything back to its default settings. We have heat dissipation on the sides and also on the back. And also on the back, we have two more USB 3.0 ports and two gigabit LAN ports, along with two HDMI ports and the power port as well. And on the bottom, we have these nice rubberized grips along with some mounting as well. You can actually stick this onto the back of a monitor using the Visa mounting hardware and keep it completely out of sight. And when opening the unit, just be careful because there is a ribbon cable connecting the two and a half inch drive bay to the motherboard. Okay, now there's no solid state drive in this because this is for expandable storage. What you do get is the 500 gigabyte solid state drive in the M2 slot here. Now, sadly, this is not an NVMe drive, okay? So the, this is SATA 3, which means the maximum speeds you're gonna get are about 500 megabytes read and write. It would have been lovely to see an NVMe drive in this, but it is what it is. And also here is your memory, so we have Two sticks, which is awesome, of eight gigabytes of RAM here for a total of 16 gigabytes in dual channel mode. Sadly, this is only 2,400 megahertz. And I believe this CPU can support up to 2,933 megahertz. So B-Link have not included the fastest components in this box. However, for my needs, which is going to be as a Plex media server running Ubuntu, this should be more than sufficient. I also have a two terabyte, two and a half inch SSD, which I'm going to install here in order to store various movies and TV shows. Okay, so I've got the mini PC in place now and because of its smaller form factor, I do think it looks really smart. It's not intrusive at all here on my tech cupboard next to the Nintendo Switch. And I did mention I'm gonna be putting Ubuntu onto this eventually, but for now, for the purposes of the video, it is still running Windows 11. So here we go. This is installed on the system straight out of the box. This is Windows 11 Pro. It is fully activated and you can see the spec as well. So we've got the Intel Celeron N5105, which is a two gigahertz processor with four cores. Now it's not a great process. I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not really even doing anything at the minute and you can see the CPU usage is peaking at 100 percent i'm suspecting there's probably more updates happening in the background gosh i hate windows updates i really do but yeah you know the cpu it's not going to handle the greatest load this is not a gaming pc okay this is a productivity pc and i am glad i got the 16 gigabytes pc rather than the 8 gigabytes i think that's just going to make sure we've got plenty of memory to be used there by the system and if we just come out of this, I'm going to show you the test I just did on the solid state drive. So as I say, you can expect about 500 megabytes per second of read and write speeds. And I'd say that's performing absolutely fine. As I say, it is a bit of a shame that we don't get an NVMe drive here. And then let's just go ahead and do a speed test. And I'm just on speedtest.net here. Let's go ahead and do a quick test. Now I am connected to the gigabit LAN port or one of the gigabit LAN ports. And I do have a gigabit downstream connection and a 110 megabit upstream connection so i would have liked to have seen some slightly faster download speeds than 700 here something in the 900s is what i would normally expect but it's not terrible to be honest with you obviously you know this is going to depend on your internet connection okay so 711 meg down 111 meg up through one of the gigabit LAN ports and if I just open the Explorer window, you can see that I do have my 
second SSD, my two and a half inch, two terabyte SSD installed. And that is working absolutely fine. I've started to load that with some of my DVD and Blu-ray collection, which is working as expected. And I do have the Plex server running as well. And I have tested that and streaming from this PC is also absolutely fine. But as I say, I am probably going to remove Windows 11 since it's probably more resource intensive than Ubuntu is just since this computer is solely going to be used for that single purpose of running Plex. OK, folks, so that is the Beelink U59 Pro, an affordable mini PC that isn't going to break the bank, but also isn't going to give you the top rate performance that you may need depending on your use case. However, in our circumstance for Plex, this is going to be absolutely perfect for the job at hand. I would have preferred to see a faster storage drive NVMe along with some faster running memory as well. And the fact that this only comes with Wi-Fi 5 instead of Wi-Fi 6 also seems like an unnecessary limitation. Overall, I'm very happy with the Beelink U59 Pro. Thank you for watching. I hope the video helps.